Returning to CoinSurrey's channel is an absolute pleasure. In this article, we will discuss several major developments about Ripple and their intentions to obtain standard custody. Chris Larson's wallet is still a mystery, therefore we'll look into this. By when is it required? This is actually taking place at this very moment, isn't it? We shall address this matter. Among Ripple's many licenses in the US is a money transmitter license that they acquired through the regular charter acquisition, we'll go over it as well. Reasons why Ripple is trying to get money transmitter licenses in every state are crucial here. I will share my intake with you. Where do you see the bigger picture, in your opinion? Without further ado, please find a seat, we will be listening to Anthony Pompliano as he analyzes the charts, discusses Bitcoin, and more. At $49,777, why not join the Bitcoin bandwagon? There is a current 5% probability of a lucky 777 minute. 3% just from doing theoretical work for one day, I've made $2,646. The current figure is 12.39% USD, TN, or USDC, upon reaching their respective dollar anchors, recently, has XRP been under any kind of downward pressure? Here we have points 5 and 7, which, for those keeping count at home, equal 52 cents, and lastly, points 9 and 7, or 7%. Everybody is waiting for you to reveal your next prediction to find out how much an ABS Bitcoin is worth, which is $1 million. I will tell you now that you have asked. Maybe we can find a time next week. We will, of course, do it live on air. Get ready, and fasten your seatbelts. Sure thing, we are about to go on an exciting adventure. We have moved on from this. The theft of Bitcoin, $20,000. I had originally predicted a $250,000 top for Bitcoin this cycle, he said. Since spot ETFs are producing substantial profits, I propose we test the waters at even higher levels, perhaps as high as $250,000, to gauge market reaction. A massive text message, 250,000, I saw it as a push, because I was mentioning 100 to 150. He has more than 250 calls. His rates are subject to change. Citing crazy economics, Bitcoin to cycle, and massive spillover effect as explanations, he forecasts that the blow-offs market value will reach 4 to 7 trillion dollars in the following 10 hours. You know, I'm totally on board with it. If the total value of all cryptocurrencies is $10 trillion or close to it, XRP prices of $17 to $24 will be possible. It's on. This is something I think we should do. With a target price of $253,350,400,000, Bitcoin is a major player. Try it out. More money flowing into the cryptocurrency markets means more opportunities for every one of us to profit from our favorite altcoin. Put XRP aside for the time being, alright? This is all a part of it, man. Meeting all these interesting people in 2017 has made crypto a real challenge, but I'm certain that everything will work out in the end. I will notify you right away. There is utter clarity there. I understand, but being involved with cryptocurrency is like being on a roller coaster. In addition, you ought to make it a point to visit this place every day. The news is something I must share with you. Since I've been diligently completing my assignments since 2017, I maintain an optimistic mindset and a bullish perspective. We will be successful in the massive trillion dollar market that is happening right now and in the XRP adoption rate if you can stay calm and wait on a bit longer for the simple reason that our day will come. Who needs to keep tabs on anybody these days? Do you not think this is the ideal moment? I started reading Horror's posts in 2017, but he's been an original poster for a long. He returned after an apparent absence of several years. My heart is racing. I am looking forward to hearing all of his words and hearing all of the details he shares. His IQ is second to none. While working under a pseudonym, he abandoned Ripple, XRP, and the cryptocurrency sector as a whole. He then joined the project. If you aren't already following him, you should. He is now using his true name again. Wow, you guys, he used to be the one who wrote these blog entries. 
I shall now go on to current events. Upon awakening, we will go deeper into this matter. He recently appeared on Fox Business with Charles Payne to talk about Bitcoin, and I'd like to know everything there is to know about Ripple, Standard Custody, Today's Purchase, Money Transmitter Licenses, and him. Now I'll tell you what I think, the test they're performing with Palau, an island nation tied to the US dollar via XRP, is what I think it all comes down to. This is news, the acquisition of Ripple by Standard Charter is a matter of great pleasure for both companies. As we move forward, we can't wait to focus on what we do best, developing enterprise-level solutions for our customers. Wow, that's fascinating. Danny made it public, so now everyone knows. Without fail, he persists in his course, and true to form, he is always right. His wallet was compromised, and 213 million XRP, or 13 million XRP total, was stolen. Wednesday, February 13th, Ripple will make an announcement today about the acquisition of Standard Custody. You can't deny that it's interesting. Is it known to you how an exploit managed to get into Chris's wallet? Have the monies been moved? You are completely unaware. Would I be right? It was moved, according to the data. That makes no sense to me. The fact that the time is perfect is of utmost importance. Zach goes on and on about how critical Ripple's most recent acquisition is. His analysis will be thorough and thorough. Sean McBride, who was already speaking, chimed in to assure you that the blockchain, the XRP ledger, and the XRP coin are all things that Ripple enthusiasts are passionate about. According to him, Ripple bought Standard Custody, a fully owned subsidiary of PolySide. Standard Cost was also acquired by Ripple. We expect to close in the next few months, provided, of course, that all required regulatory clearances and stand closing requirements are met. A trust with 14 money transmitter licenses and a New York DFS Limited Purpose Trust license is this company's regular client. We'll be able to improve our product offerings, strengthen our relationship with regulators, and expand our license portfolio thanks to that massive deal. We were hoping to close the deal on Fortress, remember, at the last minute, but it fell through. This should be the last step. We will acquire standard custody of a U.S. trust to enable the provision of our present and future product offerings. This is our backup plan, if you will. Ripple and XRP must be having some issues in the U.S. With this money transmitter license, we can improve our current customer experience, which is a great opportunity that we have acquired. Our long-term goal is to establish ourselves as a worldwide hub for companies looking to convert, store, and transfer wealth on the blockchain, much like Amazon. We will also explore additional product opportunities to enhance our current offers. The XRP ledger is located on that blockchain, and any token associated with it is XRP. If the XRP ledger is used, the XRP token will be used, whether for back-end monetary transactions or its origin. D. Ripple's enterprise solutions are built on crypto infrastructure and include regulatory licensing and technology solutions. And I'm still confused about what Brad Garland House means when he says, to date, Ripple has occurred nearly 40 times. 40, are you sure? They have 40 licenses to send money in the US, in my view. With the exception of just 10 states, all 50 states offer money transmitter licenses. This is happening at the same time, my argument that this technology works is bolstered by everything going on in Palau regarding their central bank and their support for the US currency to buy XRP. Additionally, Ripple may eventually replace other third parties as the go-between for all foreign money transactions into the US that use the XRP coin. I've suspected for some time that the government is utilizing Ripple as a guinea pig, after all. Why is Ripple attempting to secure a money transmitter license in each and every U.S. state, is the proper thing to consider given the current circumstances. Kindly summarize the story for me. How can I understand the bigger picture? To save time and money, businesses, banks, money transmitters, fintechs, etc., will employ Ripple solutions and whatever else they build to avoid dealing with several clearinghouses when transferring cash and other currencies. Based on this, I am inclined to think that. Evidently, their only motivation is to show off, as they aim to obtain money transmitter licenses in every state. Something far greater is at work here, 
and we will see it realized. Once regulators approve and sign off on this conventional custody contract, I expect Ripple King to continue updating us on their progress and declaring their overarching strategy, just like they did at the beginning of the video. The video abruptly ends at that point. The usual likes and subscribes would be greatly appreciated. Until next time.